Welcome to Well, we do have a prize party today. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so、um, some people write, wrote in. Maybe they called in. I don't know if this is from the call center or not, but they 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 called or wrote, <laughs> and they said their jobs had been cut, but they decided to tithe off of the last check, even though rent was due. So rent was due. Yeah, and they had one last check. Yeah, and they decided to tithe on it. They said the following week, Katie was called back to work. And they are both receiving more, or they are, and she's receiving more money than before. Praise God! That is a praise party to、uh, be cut, that's、so、called、awesome. back, and then you're given more than、um, you were getting when you got cut. That's, that's、right. amazing. I love these praise parties. I love these praise reports. I love it because if God can do it for her, He can do it. The for word、you. is in, yeah. God's no respecter of persons. That's right. So keep the praise party, keep the praise comments coming. We love to share them. Yes, we do. So you've got some word for us today. I do. Philippians four、okay. nineteen.、Um, this is in the Amplified. And my God will liberally supply, fill until full your every need according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Ah, what an amazing scripture to always come upon in the Word of God. That God. His 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 idea is to liberally supply that you, word, fulfill liberally, to the, liberally fulfill to full, just going over all the needs that you have in your life. He he wants to fully satisfy you. He wants to satisfy you, you know, in your emotions, in your well being, in your health, in your finances, everything, anything you could think of. He wants you to have be supplied liberally. Well, and what that, matters to them, right? Of course, that's right. So,、um, anyways, I was thinking about the the story in John two about the couple who had the wedding. Okay, okay. we all know this this story.、Um, when Jesus was there, but the at the wedding they they ran out of、uh, wine at the wedding, and <clears throat> Jesus is、um, presented with the problem. And you know who knows who knows why they ran out of wine? We don't know. Maybe they just didn't plan. Right. Maybe they just had maybe a lot of drinkers.、People. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe more they, people came to the wedding. <laughs> maybe people were walking by and they're like, "Huzzah!" I don't know. Is that like? <laughs> they're like, I don't know. They're like wedding crashers. <laughs> they want to join. <laughs> oh my god! It just came to me. I'm so sorry. If that's not something. That's not a thing. I thought it was a thing. <laughs> Whatever the reason, they ran out, <laughs> and Jesus was there to save the day. But it, Yay, sa- it says that he was presented with、um, six pots just of water, and you know, of course he turned it into a fine wine, and he saved the day. But it was overabundance, like more, more than, than that, more than that what they even needed.、Wow. Just、um, so basically, you know, he's the same way in our lives. Is that he wants to liberally supply whatever you need. You need、um, something. You maybe have an issue with finances, or maybe you have an issue with relationship, and you're like, I'm going through a drama in my life. You know, God wants to bring peace to that situation, and not just right, not just like a just a right now, not just like a band aid, but forever. Maybe things in your family need healing. You know, God wants to forever heal that, so you can have a legacy, so you can have traditions and、That's、things in their、good. family.、Um, maybe your your health is not good. Well, God wants to heal. You, but not just heal you, but set you up for a life of a, a, a long time life of health and fullness. Fullness, yeah. Well, what I like it, when I think of well, and I kind of jumped the gun, jumped it a little bit because what I was, what I was, what I said was that、um, don't underestimate that God cares about what you care about. Like if it's important to you, He makes it important、yeah. to Him. It matters to Him. And you know, you're sharing that story, and I'm so sorry, but all I could think about was right before quarantine hit. Yeah, we had gone on vacation, and we were kind of like in the middle of the ocean, the waters. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't have any like service. We got into dock, or we docked. And got into port, and we found out. Oh my gosh, there was a shortage on toilet, toilet paper. paper. Oh my gosh. Now I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm alone in this. <laughs> in that moment, toilet paper really mattered to me. And Scott and I got on, and we were like, "Oh my gosh!" My mom texted. She said, "It is crazy. There's no toilet paper to、I、be、know. found anywhere."、Thing. We come home, and we had before I left, I had. We have a, a big family, so I had purchased my normal 
bigger package. Yeah. And that package lasted us the entire time. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it was like water my, into wine moment. moment. <laughs> and here's the thing, but here's what's even greater. Okay. Because it's this is the liberal part. I even got up one morning, Sunday morning no less, and I went to Target. I went and stood out at Target at like 6.30 a.m. before they open so that I could get in line, so that I could get toilet paper because we were on our last roll okay. of our package, okay? Now understand, this is probably, we had about maybe a week and a half left. And um, I got a package. I never had to open that package. No Here's way. the cool thing is in the midst of me, in the midst of all of this, people kept giving Pastor Scott and myself um <laughs> Okay. Packages of toilet paper. Yeah. But here's the cool thing about it. We just kept piling it. This is really, this is, our neighbor actually walked by and was like, wow, showing <laughs> off, you know, because we had this stack of toilet paper. But you know what happened? I was giving that toilet paper away. Everybody would bring us yeah. when they would find them, but I never had to, I never had to dip into that stash. Instead, I was so completely my, I don't know, I don't, one roll, it, it kept, I don't know, I don't, That's I don't awful. even want to know how it was maximized. It was just <laughs> maximized, okay? It was a- so much so, and we were so overflowing that I actually, what was my lack, or I thought would be my lack, actually became a um, place of me, uh, just a, a point of me being able to give away. That's it was like, just amazing. It how like a blessing. Yeah, more than enough so that you can then take overflow. what you've got, that overflow, and go and bless people that need it. I just, water into wine, baby. <laughs> toilet paper into, well, nothing into toilet paper. I don't know. I don't know. Like, quarantine into toilet paper. I don't know. I don't know. That's so good. <laughs> yes. Should you pray? Yes. Okay. Okay. Please pray. <laughs> Father God, just as you would do it for Pastor Holly, you'll do it for everyone that is watching here today. I thank you, Lord, that you will supply, liberally supply, fill until full every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, I praise you and thank you that you are meeting all the needs here today um, fully, Lord surpassing anyone uh, anyone's thoughts, dreams, or imagines now in the mm-hmm. name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you're filling us with your peace, your love, your joy, and, and faith. And Lord, I, you do all this by the power of Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. That's right. And, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday.